Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Boy, I have some great news for you today. Retouch for me is having a spring sale which offers 25% off on all the plugins. So grab this amazing deal while it lasts. Click the link in the video description. Want to speed up your photo editing workflow? In this video, I'll show you how to batch edit photos using the Retouch for me Photoshop panel. Saving you time while maintaining top tier quality it basically boils down to four simple steps. Step 1. Download the Photoshop panel in the video description. Step 2. Choose the plugins. Step 3. Click Retouch. And Step 4. Get the results. It is super easy, right? You even get a free trial with 20 free retouching credits. So you can test it out before buying. First, open Photoshop and go to Plugins, then Retouch for Me panel, and select Retouch for Me panel. This will bring up the Retouch For Me interface, giving you access to all the plugins. Then click on Device and click the gear icon beside it. Then enable the option, Include Subfolders, and select PSD as the output format, so we can adjust the image to our preference later if needed. Then click on Device again, select the plugins we want to use, and click Retouch. Then click Process Folder and choose the folder for batch processing. Then all you gotta do is wait for all the images to be processed, and that's it. Let me go ahead and fast forward this step. And it's done. We created a PSD file for each image. Let's open one and check it. As you can see, it created a layer for each plugin. We can adjust the opacity to increase or decrease the effect. We can also apply a mask to add or remove the effect on certain areas of the image. Let's group all the plugins. This is the original image, and this is with the Retouch For Me plugins. Before, after, before, after. This looks amazing. Now this time, let's do batch processing using Cloud Retouch. Please note that it will use one token per image retouched, so be careful when using this. Let's click the gear icon. Then I want to enable Highest Cloud Results. You don't have to do this, but for this demo, I want to show you how it will affect the image. Again, make sure Include Subfolders is enabled. And for the output format, let's change it to JPEG. Then we go back to Cloud Retouch, select the plugins we want to use, then click Retouch. Then click Process Folder and select the folder for our images. Now we wait for all the images to be processed. Now this might take a while because I enabled the highest cloud results. Also, I believe the internet speed also accounts for the processing time. And after a few minutes, it is done. So these are the results. And that's it. With just a few clicks, you can batch edit photos using the Retouch For Me panel, making your workflow faster and more efficient. Click the link in the video description for a free trial, as well as discounted prices using my affiliate link. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more videos like this, and hit the bell icon for more content. See you in the next one.